Hello everybody, welcome back to Valley of the Mist Block of the Month. I'm Adrian Ritter. And I'm Shelly McNeely. And we are here with the April 2020 block. Um, just so I don't forget, because last month I <laughs> said the wrong month. At the very beginning I'm going to say this block is due at the May 2020 meeting if you are a Guild member turning one in at the Guild meeting. So, here is our lovely block for this month. Shelly invented this block. <laughs> it doesn't have a name. Um, and it's actually, like we always say, it's very simple. This one's pretty dang see, easy. <laughs> let's see how complicated we can make it. Okay, let's okay. try. <laughs> All right, so Shelly, what fabrics do we need this month? Okay, I'm gonna set mine down. Oh, okay. okay. Okay, our normal focus fabric for this year, which is from the Western Washington Shop Hop of 2018, I think it was, and it's made by In the Beginnings. Um, so you have many colors. And then we have a coordinating fabric. Any one you choose. It right. just has to be something that matches what you see in a black and a white. Okay. All so right. Let's see, I've got a long black one. Okay. Right. Okay, so. What do we do, Shelly? What do we need to cut? Okay, so we're going to need to cut at least one strip of each of the fabrics. You're going to need multiples, but at least one of every. And and, and, you, and that's the so that's the minimum. So your focus, if you're worried about running out, just do one strip of the focus fabric. Right. Okay, now it could be any width you want, but it should be probably at least one inch wide. Just so you can see it once you've sewn it and no wider than two and three quarters inch wide. And then each strip needs to be at least 14 and a half inches long. Probably really doesn't need to be any longer. Right, so. Yeah, um, if you make it longer then um, try to try to keep them even at one end. Or, or like, I actually have long pieces and, and um, I'm gonna sew on long pieces and then I'll trim them down to that 14 and a half at the end. I'm not gonna trim them first. So that way I just use right. the minimal amount of fabric I have to. Yeah. Um, if you have them too uneven at one end and you're flipping it as you sew them together, then you can get off. So try to make right. sure you keep one end kind of right. yeah. even. Yeah, make sure. It has to be perfectly even, but right. pretty. And um, what order do they need to be in? Well, that is up to you. This is the improv part of this. So, so like you can see, let's pull these blocks up here again, shall we? So I'm just gonna say, look at my top row. Um, this was the order I sewed mine in. And as you can see, I have some kind of chunky ones, and Shelly does too, but she has more pieces than I do. Right. Cause she used some narrower ones. And um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna sew that whole strip and then we're gonna make some cuts and we're gonna flip some around and sew them back together. Right. And that's how you get the pattern on the block. And so one thing I want to point out, at the order you lay them in, I, I'd say that don't be too symmetrical because the block ends up being very boring if it, you're very symmetrical. Um, and on mine, you can see I kind of had a, a centerpiece, this white one, and it was wide. Whereas Shelly's, well, I think, I mean, and it's totally up to you because maybe you like that. And um, I mean, I don't think it's ugly, but um, I actually yeah. like how Shelly's looks. It's a little crazier because she had her centers kind of butted up to each other. So when she flipped them, they had more interest. Whereas mine continued to have that like white strip down right. the middle. Right. So whichever way you do it and either way is fine. Just think about that when you're when you're putting the pieces together. Right. Um, it, it, what we found because um, we did some sample blocks, is if you have the same color at either end and you flip it, that makes it less varied. Right. You know, very, you know. Because they're just going to match each other. Right. Whereas, like, like Shelly had black on and white on either end, and I had my um, coordinating fabric and my white on either end, which made it right a little bit different. So that's the only concern you have to think about. So... Start putting them together and just keep adding strips until you get to, to at least, what did we say, 12, 12 and 3 fourths. <coughs> Excuse me, 12, yeah, 12 and 3 fourths, yeah. And um, if you're a little bit over that, that's fine. Um, it, 
just too much more you're just wasting time right as you can see if you like how many you had how many strips six um, seven no i had um i had two of each except for the focus oh yeah so so seven yeah mine i thought it was going to do eight but it turned out it wasn't wide enough so i had to add another one so i ended up with nine strips and i you know i tried to vary the sizes between one and a half and two and three fourths but it, it can you just don't know how many uh, strips you're going to end up with and yeah the other thing i want to point out like on my block my um coordinating fabric reads pretty dark so um it, the block ended up kind of dark and so this one i thought i want it to be lighter so i picked a lighter tone um i'm you know and i'm gonna you know as i add the pieces i'll mm -hmm. think about that but see i have two different widths of white I just have, I have a leftover piece of focus that this triangle, this, you know, um, diagonal cut will come off at the end because it was long enough that I didn't need to worry about that. Mm -hmm. And then I actually have two pieces of this, uh, my folk, uh, my coordinating fabric that are different widths. So I'm going to play with that and see how they turn yeah. out. Yeah. You know, you can, you can lay them out next to each other and before you sew them or just yeah, I randomly oh, stole. Right. I actually would too, not yeah. worry too much about yeah. the order, right. other than not putting two of the same next to each other, right? Because it they get flipped around. So okay, so we're gonna sew those strips together and come back with our our block that's roughly fourteen and a half by twelve and three quarters. Right. Okay. All right. So we're back and we've sewn together our our strips, and of course, like normal. There was stuff I forgot to mention in the last <laughs> one. Just minor, minor things. Number one, you can get a copy of these instructions on the Valley of the Mist Quilt Guilds website under the block of the month. Um, so that helps you so you don't have to keep referencing our video. All right, though you can watch it as many times as you want. Yeah. <laughs> okay. The other thing is, is that these um, pieces that we used in the in this first round, they don't have to be. Um, like long rectangular strips. They can be kind of, they can be weird pieces that you have left. They, I mean, triangles is probably not yeah, going to work. Yeah, a little harder. Yeah. But I mean, if they're a little bit um, different, it's just you, when you're doing that final measurement, make sure that at the narrowest portion, you're at least the 12 and three quarters, right. that number I keep forgetting. Um, because we want you to have a little bit of freedom to do whatever in that first part, because as Shelly just pointed out to me, because I thought I would, I had forgotten, I thought I was just going to just cut them. And um, she said, no, they do kind of have to be straight. So what we need you to do for the next step is you're going to take your block and turn it, and you're going to make three cuts across the strips that you just sewed together. Right. Any with the part that you want. Um, obviously, if you do a half inch cut <laughs> you'll lose something <laughs> you'll lose a whole strip yes. <laughs> um, but um so you're gonna make those three cuts oh man i really should do that um no we're gonna go and we're gonna cut these and we're gonna come back because i was gonna come on the screen but i don't really have a lot of room right here so we're gonna cut them and then we're gonna come back and then we'll show you the next step all right okay, okay. We were back, lickety split. We barely had time to take a sip. Take a sip. <laughs> eat a cracker. No, we didn't even eat a cracker. Okay, uh, so we made our three cuts. So now we both have four pieces. I did like too big at one end, too little at the other end. Kind of got mine are, yeah. Copycat, no, we were even in different rooms. She was yes. in our ironing cutting area and I was at a different area. So now, this is the hardest part. <laughs> no, it isn't. <laughs> you're gonna take, sure. You're gonna take two of the strips and you're gonna turn them 180 degrees. And you pick which two, it doesn't matter. So I'm gonna go like this. They have to be like not next to each other though, right? They have to, no, yeah, you're right. <laughs> well, don't complicate it, Shelly. Well, you said any two. I didn't say any choices. You're going to take two strips. Okay. So, I mean, you take two that are next to each other, then you're going to sew them right back together. But I, 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 I,
now we're going to sew these seams together and, and almost by then you're almost done all right so we're going to do that and we'll be back when we've got them sewn in back into a rough square right okay all right okay so we're back now you can see our beautiful blocks and how different they are and um i want to I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about mine first and then Shelly can talk about hers. So when I was building out my pieces, I don't know if you remember when I first was showing you the pieces, I only had two pieces of my coordinating fabric. And um, as I laid them together, um, I kind of concentrated the, um, the color strips more to one side and light to one side so that consciously, so that when I flipped them, it would be a bigger contrast. Um, but I ran, I, I ended up with my block and I thought I had enough pieces and I had a black on the outside and a white on the outside. And so, um, mm -hmm. I measured it and it was quite a bit too short. So <laughs> I had to add a, I had to add a piece and, and like we talked about before, I didn't want to have white on both on the outside or black. Right. So I had to add, had another strip of my coordinating fabric and I really like how that, that turned out. Um, it's completely different than my first block. Now, Shelly's, when actually, the, when we, where, why we sewed them together is really this line, isn't it? What do you mean? This yeah, is that, the same. Right. So, yeah. yeah. You're but just you're, trying to be kind. No, I'm just trying to, okay. Okay. So, but talking about the strips, per se. <laughs> you just I, turned it I know, down. I know. <laughs> Okay. But I'll turn it back. Okay. Talk about the, the, at the beginning. You know, I had, I had, I had the focus fabric, and I had a size, so I used that. And the white, I had a random piece of white, and I cut a bunch of pieces and made it work. And I thought, okay, cut some blues, and then I just started measuring, putting it together how I thought it would work when you flipped. So did it work how you thought? It did pretty much, but okay. luckily mine was when I sewed mine together. Mine was closer to thirteen and and as opposed to twelve and three fourths. So when I actually sewed these together, um, probably on this end, on this end, um, I end up with you probably can't tell exactly. I, they were trying to nest, and luckily since it was more than twelve and three fourths, I could jog it a little bit so that they wouldn't be a big bump there because right. that's yeah and, and the actually chances of a nest well, she's small well, she but, yeah. talks about that i did forget to mention um pressing and in this block when you're first showing your strips together just press to the darker fabric right because the chances of of two interfering are pretty slim mm -hmm. i accidentally had two that that randomly nested also but it was it was really, I, I wouldn't worry about it. I mean, no. the chances of the meeting are, are pretty slim. Right. So, um, oh, oh my gosh, Adrian, I almost tipped everything over. Okay, so so we're going to go after this. We're not going to show you this in the video, but you're going to take your square ruler and you're going to um, position it how you like, you know, like I have a lot of extra on, on one of the widths, so I'll just go and I'll squ square it up nicely, mm -hmm. you know, however you like. Yeah. It can be a little, it can even be a little cock, uh, cock sideways so that it's not so um, straight on one edge, but you know, just square that up. Or if you, like I think we said before, if you don't feel confident in squaring it up, it's better to leave it big That's true. than to leave it yes. too little. So you can always just turn it in how it is right now and let the person who wins the box. Or for you, when you're right. putting together your block of the month quilt, you know, you might find you were a little short on one, you need a little more on another. I don't know, whatever, however you yeah. want to do it. Yeah. Um, so that is our block. Um, and I, I told Shelly, I just wanted to mention that, you know, we did have some very disappointing news this week because normally we spend the, the Guild Retreat doing the blocks for the rest of the year. And we did learn the retreat has been canceled because of the coronavirus. And so now, we're on lockdown, <laughs> kind of, not really, but you know, yeah. you know we're, we're, we're supposed to be, you know, staying six feet apart from each other, <laughs> but you know, we are sisters, so. And we live together, so that's together. harder, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I hope everybody that watches our video, I hope you're all healthy. And I guess 
maybe if you are healthy and you're feeling good, now's the time to do your blocks. I know. You got and we're plenty gonna, of time. We're going to spend this time, at least, hopefully. You know, now that the retreat's over, it's harder for me to say, I'm not going to work, which my sisters would say, huh, you took the days off, you should. But, yeah. but you know. We'll see how that goes. Yeah. People still want to buy houses, so I, I have trouble with that. But um, anyway, so, um, you know, take this time, get caught up on your blocks, rest. Uh, Stay healthy. Yeah. Have fun time with your family. Uh, you know, get out the board games and uh, jigsaw puzzles. And so right? a lot. And so a lot, yeah. <laughs> and we will be back next month with our May block.